Rich Langer here bringing you another Fantasy Fishing Edge preview, this time for the FLW on Beaver Lake. Um, you know, uh, FLW is going back to Beaver Lake for, I don't know, seems like the 50th time, um, always usually around this springtime of year, so um, you're going to see a lot of uh, what you're used to. <clears throat> you can definitely stick with your perennial favorites on this lake. Um, so it sounds like this year... Um, water temps are in the low to mid 60s. The water's a little bit on the rise. It's probably comparable to where it was last year, but may go up a little higher during this tournament. So definitely it sounds like you'll find fish uh, pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn, post probably more. Uh, it could be a very good spawn uh, tournament. So it could be a ton of sight fish, and it could be a lot of fish moving up with the new moon all week long. So um, if you like to pick sight fishermen for a derby, um, this could be the week to do that. Um, so all, you know, something to consider. So you can see, uh, their preview actually has a picture of me <laughs> from an old podcast. Uh, kind of interesting that they use that artwork for their title for uh, this week. Um, the, this Colson and Canterbury leadoff practice is a good video to watch. And I recommend checking that out for your practice to get a feel for what the lake's doing. Um, so this is my team. Um, uh, the way that FLW is set up this year, there's a ample opportunity to really stack your team. Um, it seems like they're weighting uh, previous <coughs> year's results a lot less than they have in the past when calculating salary and going more off angular of the year standings much more like Bass does for their salaries. So um, I feel like I'll be able to put a pretty strong uh, team together without really stretching the budget too much. Uh, I didn't really have to dip down too low to find you know relative unknown anglers. Um, if you click on the members advantage section. Um, you can look at the pundit picks. Um, you can see just about everybody's got Matt Airy and a few other things. This is definitely worth taking a quick read. Um, but the uh, you can also click on the local finder, fancy trends, who people are picking. Um, but if you look at the Angler Lake history, you can basically see everybody that's fishing, how many tournaments they fish, top 10s, 20s, uh, and their current Angler year standing and their average finish. So you can see, you know, Brian Thrift has been amazing on this lake. Uh, you know, Clark Wendland has had a lot of success, but a lot of those wins were, <coughs> our top 10s were a long time ago. Um, Mark Rhodes has also done really well in this lake. He's got Canterbury won last year. Um, so you can cruise through this and you can sort by top tens or average finish um, you know and you can find some, maybe some dark horses if you're looking for some budget uh, anglers like for instance Cody Meyer is only 24 bucks he could be a really great pick on Beaver Lake look how consistent his average finishes um, so if you need some budget people you can scroll through this list um, and look for guys that are fairly cheap but have you know uh, good average finishes or have uh, uh, you know, like this Pete Tilaveros, he's got two top tens and eight appearances here. Um, so that's kind of an interesting thing to look at. Um, so a lot of good information there. Um, then you can also take a peek at bass rankings, which is really good. Uh, you can see Matt Airy has won, I think, mean, two out of the three last year <laughs> at, at the Beaver Lake. Andy Morgan has uh, won once and has tons of top tens. Um, so lots of really good information for you to review. Um, and anglers to look at and there's tons of history so you can kind of spin this any way you'd like <clears throat> so back to my team uh, Brian Thrift and Mark Rose uh, have great history here um, they're doing really great this year so they're very expensive but I think they're totally worth it um, in this event um, uh, you know Brian Thrift I think can probably sight fish and fish those fish coming up with the best of them um, you know, Mark Rose gives my team a little diversity. Um, he's probably more well suited to uh, get some of those either pre or post bond staging fish. Matt Neary has just been so good here the last three years, it's hard not to put him on your team. And being that he's not super high in angle of the year, he's a pretty good value at $24. Uh, John Cox, probably one of the better shallow sight fishermen there is, and I think this tournament will set up great for him. Jay Ellis has been super consistent over the years, lots of top tens. Greg Bohannon, he's uh, pretty much a local to the lake. Um, and then Dan Moorhead, uh, pretty good value at 13 bucks. Uh, has quite a few top tens on this lake. Um, and then Andy Morgan, he's probably one of the greatest of all time. And uh, you know, he's uh, probably due to uh, have a big tournament this week. So there's a ton of great information on this lake. Um, that's my team. 
Let me know what you guys think. You know, leave a comment in the uh, comments below. Let me know if you agree or disagree, who I'm missing, who's on your team. Um, were you able to get exactly a, use $100 of your salary? Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.